I'm Chef Roy Amiguchi, guest host for Respect the Chain. Aloha, I'm Sammy Goldberg and welcome to Respect the Chain. And right now we're in the beautiful Hawaii Kai section of Honolulu. And today we have a very special guest co-host. We have Roy Yamaguchi, who is known for his Hawaiian fusion cuisine. And in addition to that, he has his own restaurant in Hawaii and the mainland called Roy's. When you think of Hawaii, you think of you. You're like the ultimate Hawaii chef. As soon as anyone goes, I'm going to Honolulu, I'm going to any island, so is Roy. Well, Roy I appreciate Z. that, thank you. Of course, and you know, I like you because you and I, we both have one syllable names. I trust people <laughs> with one syllable name. Exactly. Roy, yeah, you know. Easy to remember. Exactly, we understand each other, we get it. You created Hawaiian fusion. And a lot of people don't really know what Hawaiian fusion is. What is Hawaiian fusion? Well, number one, it's important to remember that we use our products from Hawaii. That's the, great, that's the greatest thing. You know, we have all the ingredients surrounding us. Beautiful. We have the ocean, we have the mountains, we have ranchers, we have fishermen, we have farmers. So what I try to do is get all the ingredients that are from here and then incorporating that with my type of cooking. Uh -huh. uh, everybody has their own cooking style in Hawaii, but mine is more of, of using the local products, uh, incorporating sauces, and uh, we come up with a dish like this. This is the uh, macadamia nut crusted uh, mahi-mahi. And uh, we've had this on our menu for 33 years. Wow. So we've been here for 33 years, and you're actually standing at the original Roy's. This is all where it started 33 years ago, and we have a great uh, Malua Bay in front of us. And, uh, you know, it's such can, a beautiful view. Yeah, it's you unbelievable. See, you can see Diamond Head, and uh, it, it's just incredible. So tell us, what are we cooking today? What's happening over here? There's a lot of things going on. I see a lot of ingredients. So here we have uh, what's called the ingredients for the lobster sauce. We have kombu, we have some tomato paste, we have lobster head and onions, and then of course you can't go without bacon to get that real depth, umami flavor. This all gets kind of get cooked and reduced, and then cream gets added, and you can add wine. And, um, and after it's all done, we end up with this as an end product. Nice and velvety, nice and creamy, rich, uh, flavorful, it's bold, and that's what we want. And then here- And that's just the sauce. We haven't even talked about the main, that's just the sauce over there, all just, these ingredients. But this is just one sauce. Wow. And then, and then, and then what we have is we have a butter sauce that we also come with it. It's a French Berbalance, so it's a French butter sauce. But we have shallots and bay leaves and white wine, rice wine vinegar, peppercorns, cream, and butter. Well, we end up with this. This is the white butter sauce that we made, and this will be for tonight. How many dishes does that uh, feed? Uh, just one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask, we're talking about sauces. What's your opinion on ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise? What do you think? Hey, I love all of that stuff. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, all, I'm the first one to really, uh, I'm, I'm there, you know, using ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise. I put ketchup on my white rice. Do you do that? You know what? In Japan, ketchup rice is extremely uh, popular. So it's all it's all about making the uh, uh, the rice and flavoring it with ketchup. I think I should move to Japan because I mean, in America, I'm a weirdo for doing that. In no, Japan, no, no, it's no, just no. everyday it's thing over there. Everyday thing. <laughs> and then for the crusting of the fish uh, to make that macadamia and that cr uh, crust. We have some roasted macadamia nuts, we have some uh, breadcrumbs, the Japanese panko, and then we have the, uh, the butter. We, we get a piece of uh, mahi-mahi, and you know, you can salt and pepper. So what we want to do is try and cover the entire surface of the, the fish. Is this soothing to you? You know what? Is this relaxing? Yeah, cooking to me is ex extremely, uh, soothing and it's uh, almost like zen-like. It's a uh, very uh, meditation-like, uh, except for maybe at prime time when you're trying to get all the orders out <laughs> and you know, you're, 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 it's crunch time and stuff like that. Like, you know, comedians, they come up with jokes in the middle of the night, they have a notepad. <laughs> do you, do you, when you're sleeping, like, do you come up with different recipes in the middle of the night and you write it down like, oh, that's a great idea, well, yeah, it just course, came to me? Yeah, I, I even do that with uh, some of the comic lines that I might want to try to put out like, even during the show. <laughs> <laughs> you are a stand-up comedian, am I right? You did stand-up. No, I did stand-up, but I got booed off the stage uh, really fast. <laughs> So, so once that, that macadamia nut is crusted, uh, I'm gonna come to the stove here. We wanna make sure that you know, we're not really cooking at a very, very high temperature. And we want that, that macadamia nut and that butter to caramelize. We want that to uh, turn golden brown. And we don't want it to burn. So it's extremely important to kind of like monitor 
uh, how this this fish is cooking. So I have some spatzel. Now what's the what's the taste of this? This is just uh, it's basically eggs and milk. Can I do a little uh, yeah, a little poop? Is this good? Yeah. Up. You kind of you kind of bring it away from How's you that? and then you, you bring it towards you. No, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm okay, sorry. so you're gonna do the cleaning? Oh, I'll clean it. Yeah, I'll clean it. it. <laughs> so I'm gonna add the asparagus oh, in wow. there. It's very colorful. I do like the colors. It's a happy dish. It's a very happy oh, dish already. Happy. Yeah. So, so I have the spatzel. Mm -hmm. Then, if you like, you can actually pour the sauce. You and trust me to do that, though, Roy. It, you yes, trust yes, me. I trust you. And, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then the sauces, when you put the sauces on, it's all about the risk action. Okay. So, so you don't want to be too stiff. So what you want is, you know, you want to grab the, uh, the ladle. Okay, and, and you want to kind of let let it flow, let it flow. Relax. No. You relax. So 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 carry it low enough. Okay. So carry it low enough so where, where where you have some about somewhere about there, so that you can you can have uh, you can kind of like uh, guide the ladle. I but feel yet, it. I'm one with yeah. the ladle. How am I doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Should I do a little more right over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the oh, I like it. It's like a coloring book. Yeah, it's like a coloring book. Then what we do is we put the uh, oh wow mahi mahi. Okay. That looks beautiful. I love that orange. I love that color orange. And then what I like to do is uh, just kind of like put the asparagus on top. You know, you can put it on the side or you can put it underneath. But you know, I kind of like to put it on the side. This is the other sauce that we made earlier. This, this is a white butter sauce. This looks like art to me. It's like, it's an art piece. That's really what this is. I kind of don't want to eat this. I just want to stare at it. I want to take a picture of it. I'm going to put it up. <laughs> Chef you, you, Roy, that's amazing. I'm sitting here. I'm salivating. I'm very excited here. It looks beautiful. I feel like I contributed something here today. Well, you did. I contributed. You did. You did. I, I mean, you may have made the rest of the dish, but I know I had my hand in one of those little spats over there. So that makes me very excited. That's true. I did. I did pour. I did pour it. So it's got all the textures, all the flavors that you need. So again, it's a light and fluffy dish. It's not heavy. You can eat this during the day. You can eat it for dinner. And you can still go out, have a good time, and go on and get drinks exactly. after this. And I mean, this really is Hawaii on a dish to me. It truly is. That mai mai, the macadamia nut. When I think of Hawaii and I think about what Hawaii would taste like, this is what Hawaii would taste like. Absolutely. It. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, cheers to and that. Roy, thank you so much. It's well, been a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. A pleasure. One syllable. One syllable right here. Sam and Roy. Sam and Roy. Roy and Sam. Roy and Sam. <laughs> this is Chef Roy Amaguchi, and you're watching Respect the Chain.